Hi. Um, tonight we're going to try something very experimental. Just watch the video and some extra info is afterwards. Thank you. Okay, so um, the piece you've heard is, is experimental, let's just go there. Uh, four instruments were used, um, one of them is the Korg Monologue, uh, the other one is the Korg M3R, then I had a Zynet sub effects for the plucked sound, the really dominant plucked sound, um, the piece was built around that sound. Uh, and then I had the percussion from um, the, the, the drum kit, the hydrogen, that lives on another laptop that is connected through QMidiNet. Um, so, what did we just see? Uh, I have used, I have purchased um, a nanopad too. And with all the demos that you have seen, most likely, is that it's used as a drum head, which is mm, not what I need it for. I needed it as a controller for sequencers. So the SEQ24 is my sequencer so far. Um, I would want to have the other sequencers, uh, the 42 and the... Uh, uh, 64 but they're not in the repo and this is a security issue of mine that I'm not really using those as of yet um, what I have done is set up the sequences clearly saved this sequence file and then just played the whole thing out 
wife. The, in order to do that, you have to get the Nanopad 2 as an input in the SAQ24, but you also have to um, reconfigure the init file for this. Um, and I had to reconfigure the init file. What I had, what I did was use uh, MIDI snoop to find out which pad emits what MIDI number and then program those numbers in the init file uh, so for the rest basically that's it but I just wanted to show a proof of concept of what you can do with the with, with, uh, with the nanopad too if you have any questions leave a comment below I try to answer all the questions if not you can always find me as Oxyntic Lady in Linux Musicians, in the forum of Linux Musicians. Um, by the way, that forum, thank you very much guys and girls for uh, helping me out. This, this was you. So let's go and have a quick, quick look at the stuff. Uh, I have my webcam right here, which I'm going to pick up and yes, oh, ah uh, yes. This is the nanopad, and I can actually. This is the SAQ 24. And as you can see, as I press a pad, there you are. As I press a pad, one of the sequences becomes active so all you have to do is just start off the sequencer then it starts running and um, play along I hope this was useful it was just something weird for me to do thanks